If I was to go back in time and start my cybersecurity journey all over again, I would not do a degree. Let me explain. Now that I have a couple of years in the industry, I'll tell you exactly why I think degrees are not the best way to get into the tech industry, specifically for cybersecurity, and how I would redo my journey in a better way. I'll go through what methods I would take to learn the fundamental knowledge, how I would go about getting practical skills for working the actual job, and how I can apply those knowledge and skills better for a job interview. All right, with that intro out the way, you're probably interested to know why I made the bold claim as to why I wouldn't do a degree if I were to go back in time. The number one reason is, degrees are not really focused on the real world. At least that was my experience when I was studying my degree. Now, what do I mean by that? Sure, degrees can teach you basic theories and fundamentals, but they are quite generic in most cases. In my university days here in Australia, the courses I would take in my degree would teach you some basic fundamental stuff and then throw you some assignments which aren't really relevant to what you would do in the real world. And also don't mention group projects. I've had pretty bad experiences with group projects. One of my projects involved five people to build a functioning website, which ended up just being me and this other guy soloing it while three other people just leached off us. Okay, that part still kind of happens in the real world, but my point is, in a workplace, that's usually your manager to take care of this issue. But if you're enrolled in a degree, you have no choice but to suck it up. I've also experienced some crappy lecturers who just reads off textbooks. Almost all of them continuously reuse old, outdated content from previous years. And there's nothing we can do about it. Not sure about other countries, but here in Australia, there are two types of courses you have to take. Majors and electives. Majors are the ones that are more relevant to your degree, whereas electives are more of a cash grab. The worst part about this is, each course is worth at least $1,000 for citizens, and it's compulsory to take these useless, unrelated elective courses in order to complete your degree. In one semester, which is like four months, you could spend about four to $5,000 in total for four courses, and you have to waste a lot of money on elective courses. There's two semesters in a year, so that means in the normal three-year degree, it would cost you at least $24,000 to $30,000 in total, and a third of that is mostly for electives. That's up to $10,000 down the drain just like that. Once again, keep in mind this is specifically for tech degrees, and it might not be the same for others. Alright, now let's talk about what I would do instead of degrees. Certifications. I'm talking about online certificates like the Google Cybersecurity ones or CompTIA. The main reason for this is because it's the best value for money. You're not spending extra money on useless courses. You're spending your money right where you need it. If we look at CompTIA certifications, A plus only goes for $343, IT Fundamentals $186, Network Plus $500, Security Plus $545, Cloud Plus $500. That's about $2,000 and it's a huge savings compared to doing a degree and going $30,000 in depth. And it's pretty much all the certifications you need to do a SOC analyst job. Another thing to mention is online courses and certifications would have their content updated more frequently than traditional degrees. This is because there's so much competition on the internet. So this certification and course providers have to improve to earn your money and reviews. Now, certifications are definitely better in that perspective, but if you're an extrovert, then you might need the social aspect of doing a degree. You might need to meet new friends and go hang out and party. It'll be more fun, but at the expense of more debt. So this advice is specifically on certifications being better economically for your wallet. Anyway, there's actually so many resources on the internet that you can learn anything for free. Well, I guess the important thing is, accountability. You need to be honest to yourself if this is what you want to do for your career. Because if you don't even have the initiative to study, then it wouldn't really make a difference whether you're doing a degree or a certification. For me personally, I would go the self-taught route with certifications like CompTIA or Google. But you might be asking, wouldn't degrees give you a better chance of getting hired? Wake up, it's 2024. Degrees doesn't really mean anything. You could sleep through group projects or pay someone else to do your assignments, and you could still end up getting a degree. There's a lot of people glamorizing having a degree on their resume, but when it comes to the job, a lot of them can't really perform. Now, what's the reason for that? Because anyone can go through courses and memorize a bunch of stuff and breeze through assignments, but you gotta apply them in practical real-world scenarios. And that leads me to the next thing I would do after completing my certifications do some projects. Not just any projects, but the ones where it's more common in the job you're after. So how do you find these projects? You gotta watch videos about the day in life ones or the ones that tells you what they actually do on their job. You have to get an idea of the responsibilities involved. For example, I was researching what cybersecurity was about when I first started. 
I knew the work involved some investigation, some monitoring, and some incident work. Once you have a general idea on the responsibilities, it will just be a matter of googling for those projects which match those responsibilities and just start doing it. Oh, and one thing to point out, don't get stuck on tutorial hell. Don't be handheld for every single project that you do. Create some scenarios by yourself. For example, if a website that you use on a daily basis experienced a data breach, how would you handle it? Write down step by step on what procedures you would take, what are the remediation steps, and what are the preventative steps. Make a couple of scenarios, that way you can kind of wire your brain to think from a holistic point of view. How I would go about this is probably create a virtual machine, then install a seam there. Then I will figure out ways to simulate logs for different systems like firewall traffic, website traffic, device traffic, and just ingest everything into the seam. Once I have all these systems in place, then I can start acting out these scenarios and actually, hands-on, do the investigations and remediations and document everything down. If you didn't understand anything of what I just said, then you probably still need to study more. An example project I would do is creating a scenario for incident response. Feel free to check out this video where I go through an example of how a SOC analyst would handle an incident. Basically, I would simulate stuff like sending phishing emails, downloading malware on a device, data breach on a system, you get the idea. Once I've done enough projects, I would make sure to summarize everything concisely. The reason for this is so I can put it on my CV or resume and outline that I have the relevant hands-on experience for the job. And for every project, make sure to also outline stuff like what skills were involved, what I learned from it, and what I can improve on. This way, I'll be able to showcase to my recruiter that I'm able to think critically and independently, which, believe it or not, is not as common as you would think. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Hope you guys found it helpful. Feel free to check out other cybersecurity videos in this playlist. Thanks for watching.